like the Cornwall Center in downtown Regina are filling out this kind of search for that perfect gift. Every year there seems to be that one fat right. gift that pops up, the Rubik's Cube, the Tickle Me Elbow. But we're curious what it's going to be this year. Our Danny Grummet joins us from the Midtown Plaza in Saskatoon. He went on a hunt for what that fat gift is going to be. Danny. Thanks, Tom. The mall certainly has a different feel this time of year. It's not just the decorations either, the fact that Santa Claus is sitting right downstairs. A lot of it, too, is the products that you see in the mall. And I mean, in the hallways, in the kiosks, they seem to switch up every year. In the stores as well, some companies wait until Christmas time to release a certain type of product. And that's what I found going around today, hunting for that special, popular gizmo gadget, whatever you want to call it, that's popular this year. You know, in past years, it's been the Chia Pet, or more recently, the Snuggie that finds its way under people's trees or into the stocking. So I set out this year to find what that product is, and what I found ranges in price from the stocking stuffer to the very expensive. A weekday afternoon in Midtown Plaza doesn't usually look or sound like this. Like malls across North America, it shouts Christmas. But I couldn't be distracted by the tinsel and shiny lights. I had to hunt. I'm looking to uh, see your most expensive diamond. This is the most expensive thing I've ever held. That one is uh, $33,000. <laughs> 33000 only? Oh, okay. Well, I thought I was going to have to save. Christmas season, we sell uh, anywhere between like five to ten of them per season. I quickly cross diamonds off my list of possible fads and move on. What is this thing? Uh oh? Hey, I'm Danny Grummer with Global News. I uh, see you got some sort of bracelets here. The light I got bracelet claims to balance ions in your body using minerals and somehow help with muscle pain, strength, and balance. Suddenly, uh, visions of eye renew rush, rush into my head. The revolutionary bracelet that uses natural frequencies to promote strength and wellness. There's similar products on the market right now. There's even more online videos calling them a scam. Despite skeptics, 35 bucks a pop, Life Strength is selling. It's close to 20 to 30 a day. Saturday is when it's super busy. I'm around 50 a day. My next venture to the Sony store. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Similar to the iPad, the Sony tablet is around $500, but runs on Android software. So what uh, type of person would, would want this for Christmas, would you think? No, it's, oh, it's a, it'll be a huge range of people. People who are uh, looking for business applications, we have that on this one. Gamers. Where did we go? The demo tablet comes oh, with a come on, that was it. And it turns out, the game doesn't just exist in the virtual form. Behind the real life angry ah, friends, you find this year's that's massage gift of $100 Rhapsody pounds on your neck and shoulders playing a 15 minute Rhapsody. That's nice. An exhausting massage can make a person thirsty. So I make my way to the Think Kitchen. Their hot seller is a $20 wine spout that has a wine decanter. I mean, it aerates as you're pouring, and it just brings out the flavor of your red wine. Yeah, so not only does it speed up the wine making process, it speeds up the wine drinking process as well. Yes, it does. Another alcohol themed product is flying off the shelf and into whiskey glasses. So you just freeze the little stones and then just put them right in your glass so that they, your whiskey stays cold. With the hours winding down and seeing the endless supply of potential fads ahead, it's time to call off the hunt. Well, despite roaming the stores and the kiosks here at Midtown Plaza for a few hours, I still haven't come to a consensus on what that one hot holiday item is this season. And there might not be just one, because there is a lot for everyone, from the people that like the tech gadgets, like the tablet at the Sony store, to people that look just like a stiff drink at Christmas with the whiskey rocks. You know, there seems to be a little bit of something for everyone, so I'm not sure that many people can go wrong if you just know the person you're buying for it. They can't complain anyway, because if you're putting this type of thought into their gift, well, that's what counts, right? Tom? You know what, Jeff?